As you know, Cubase offers the possibility to automate almost any parameter that can affect a track. This also applies to stereo output buses, which are also tracks. The latest versions of Cubase 9.5 made this function more available and easy to find by featuring the stereo output track on all newly created projects. The horizontal line that goes across the project window is actually the, the volume automation line for the stereo bus which you can manipulate using the pencil tool. If you want to apply automation on the stereo track after deleting the stereo bus track, you can simply enable write automation from the mixer and automate normally. The results will be shown in the project window as usual and can be edited normally. Finally, if you happen to often click on the automation line by mistake, you can simply create an automation dot with the terminator attribute enabled. This will prevent the creation of any new subsequent automation dots by mistake. Hope this helps. See you in the next video.